Hi and welcome to my video guide for Life is Strange. This is episode 2, Out of Time. This is all optional photos which will lead you to a 100% completion of the episode. Optional photo number one is for the achievement of Field of View. This takes place inside Kate's room when you go to deliver the book back to her. Kate? You in there? Yes. I'm here. Come in, Matt. Now once you're inside Kate's room, just pop over here to her little rabbit in the cage and snap a photograph of that and you will have your first achievement, Field of View. Optional photo number two is for the achievement full exposure. This takes place outside of the dormitories. Now once you get outside you're going to see the caretaker there, Samuel. He's going to be sat on a bench. You can have a conversation with him if you wish to do so. In the background there there's a totem pole. We do not want to go there. Of all places we want to go and have a look at the trash can and then use it. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? But I could use this to attract squirrels. Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrel. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. Now, once you've placed the bait, you need to stand back a bit. Otherwise, the squirrel won't come to you. I've sped the video up because it can take a little while. But once the little critter is there, you just snap yourself a photo. Yes. Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. And there you have achievement number two, full exposure. Optional photo number three is for the achievement processor. This takes place outside of the diner. Now once you get there, you'll see that RV there. Now that's from episode one. Some of you may have written in its windows. <laughs> now when you look up, you'll see that sign. You need to place yourself in just the right position to get a prompt to take your next photo. And once you have it, that is optional photo number three, processor. Optional photo number four is for the achievement image stabilizer. This takes place around the back of the diner. Now, when you saw that RV, some of you may have gone up to it in the car park and the dog will bark at you if you try to go up to it. So what we need to do is walk around the back here and we can stay a safe distance and snap our fourth photograph and get our fourth achievement image stabilizer. Now there's also a homeless lady here. You can go and have a conversation with her. She's quite interesting and knowledgeable. Optional photo number five is for the achievement compressed. This one takes place inside the diner. Now once we're here, we just go into the bathroom. There is graffiti everywhere, but we're interested in the graffiti that's on the mirror. Just snap yourself a photograph of that and you will have achievement number five, compressed. Optional photo number six is for the achievement pixelated. Now this one takes place inside the junkyard. Now as soon as you get there, just turn around and you'll see the school bus. Now we actually need to, again, position ourselves correctly, otherwise we won't get the prompt for the photo. And it's around about here. So once you have the prompt, just snap yourself that picture and you will have achievement number six, pixelated. Optional photo number seven is on the other side of that bus. This is for the achievement dynamic range. So we just carry on walking around here and we'll get interrupted by a short cut scene.
Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. Now, I don't know about you, but I didn't see any dough to start with, so just carry on walking up this grassy bank. That dough is the perfect photo op. And there it is. So once you're close enough, just snap yourself a picture. Now, this one, in my opinion, should have had the achievement name pixelated, but it does not. This is your seventh achievement, Dynamic Range. Optional photo number eight is for the achievement Colorized. This still takes place in the junkyard. Once you've finished your escapades with Chloe, she'll relax there on that car bonnet. Now, before you speak to her, just walk around to the side and you'll get a prompt to take a photo of her. And my goodness, that looks like it could be some damning evidence right there. Oh my gosh. But anyway, that is your eighth achievement Colorized. Optional photo number nine is for the achievement Meter Maid. Now this one is the one that throws so many people off, so I will walk you through completely how to do it. You need to meet Warren in the science lab and you need to have a conversation with him and tell him to choose potassium. Think. Hey Warren, are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer, perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Now this will not work, so when he's done it we have to rewind time and then tell him Weird to science. use lots of potassium. Hey Warren. You can skip That's conversations also... here now obviously because you've been through it once. I, have either a... I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean a shitload. See? Look at that <laughs> smile. You're going to become oh, a scientist shit, yet. Let's do this thing. Now again, this will not work, but it will open the door for us to be able to get the photograph. We need science. to go and speak to the teacher and get her to talk about the experiment. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts, and yours might be the one that decided. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. So you can finish the conversation with her then if you want to. That's entirely your choice. But now we have to rewind time and yes, quite away, a way, actually. Blast. But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool. You'll know if you've gone far enough because you'll get the option to speak to him again. Yes, that was a blast. As long as he doesn't say Let's this. <laughs> so go back cool. once more if you didn't go far enough and then tell him to use chlorine. Or chlorine, you know, tomato, tomato. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? Maxwell Silver Asking me for help? I have to add either... Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. So if you don't do it this way, you're not going to be getting these prompts. So this is the way that you have to go to get this optional Eureka. photo. She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest. And there we go. When the prompt comes up, just snap it. And there you will have Meter Maid, your ninth achievement. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full-on geek mode. 
Optional photo number 10 is a twofer. This is Resolution Revolution and Lab Master. So all we have to do, and this is so easy, just go into the art class and you're going to find Alyssa stood by the window. Just walk up to her and when the prompt comes up, just snap the picture and you will have your last two photo achievements. All you need to do then after this is just complete the rest of the episode for a 100%. And there are those last two photo achievements. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please feel free to share. Don't forget to like and also subscribe if you feel like doing so. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.